Hi, we're EECS 203, Group B44. Our members consist of Patrick Hops, Jason Terranova, Meredith Monticello, and Peter Jung. And our topic is Sterling Numbers of the Second Kind. And you can find this and other topics at Discrete Mathematics at the website noatom.com, K-N-O-A-T-O-M.com. Sterling number of the second kind is the number of ways n-labeled objects can be placed into k non-empty unlabeled subsets for, as represented by this equation. For example, if we have four marbles into two boxes where the marbles are different and the boxes are the same, then we have that n equals four and k equals 2, and the result is 7. Alright, so starting numbers say that we have to put, we can put n objects into k non-empty boxes. But what if we say that the boxes can be empty? In, in which case, then the starting numbers doesn't actually work because, uh, because there will be boxes where nothing is put in them. However, if we make an alternate version of the starting number, in which case we manipulate, in some ways, uh, the starting number, what we can actually do is for for uh, k boxes, uh, we say that for, uh, we put an object in the k boxes first. So that would be the starting number of um, of putting n. Of, of n and k. And, and then what we do is we see that one of them can be empty, so in which case we're going to only have n minus 1 boxes. Uh, so, so for this one, we're going to say that it's n and k minus 1, because uh, basically what we have is you're putting all n uh, objects into uh, m minus 1 non-empty boxes. But then if we just keep doing, if we keep going, what we actually find out is that the number of ways we could put n objects into uh, k boxes, the total number of that is actually going to be And, we'll, and what you can see here is that we're, we're assuming um, the number of boxes available, aka the number of boxes that aren't empty, uh, can be anywhere from 1, which is everything is put into one box, to k, in which everything is put into um, all, k, all k boxes. And by uh, finding the certain numbers of each individual j, we are allowed to fig we use a by case method figure out the total number of ways you could put n things into k boxes where the number of bo boxes can be empty. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be uh, doing a more applicable example. Um, so assume that we are sheep farmers uh, or shepherds yes, uh, and we have six sheep and we only have five crows. And we're trying to figure out how many ways we could put the sheep um, into the crowds. Uh, and note that um, in this case, we're okay with some of them being empty, and we're assuming that we could put, um, I guess, all six sheep into a single crowd. So what do we do? We use uh, starting numbers because exact, um, effectively what we're doing is we're just putting sheep into um, into into unlabeled crowds, in which case each of these are the same thing and it doesn't matter which ones they go into. Um, so now we're actually going to do the math of it. Oh, and, and also uh, we're assuming that each of these sheep is labeled. Uh, 
So, so assuming that we're gonna put a sheep into all five corral. Um, let's see. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Six sheep, five. All right. So if we if we have uh, if we're gonna use all five, I think that's about that, right? Um, then we're gonna have six and five. In which case, if you apply the giant formula, it's actually gonna turn out to be fifteen. Next, we're going to assume that one of the cross is empty, uh, in which case uh, it's actually going to be um, it's actually going to be putting six sheep into four crowds because there's four that aren't empty, um, and that's going to be sixty-five. And then we do it for three. And that's gonna be ninety. Um, and then we're gonna do two. Uh, and finally, we're gonna only put all of them in one. And that's and there's only one way you could do that. Uh, and that's one, and it's uh, one because none of the crowds uh, are labeled. All right, so so effectively, the number of ways we could put sheep in five crowds, and if we're about the crowds to be empty, it's actually just going to be, um, let's see, fifteen plus sixty-five plus ninety plus plus 31 plus 1 and if my math is right this is gonna be 202 ways and that is a reasonable applicable example of putting sheep in crowds and also an example of how to use starting numbers in everyday life this concludes our presentation on starting numbers of the second kind and remember Go to www.noadam.com for all your discrete mathematics needs for more videos on discrete mathematics. That's www.noadam.com.